If you are new to Golagin, watch this video till the end to know everything you need about how Golagin can help your business. Now this is your main screen. These lines are basically separate devices with their own internet connections. To a website, each of these profiles is a real device. And that's how you can run multiple accounts on any website. Golagin is mostly used for social media by marketing agencies. See that the profiles are named after different social media websites. It works even on most difficult social media websites, such as LinkedIn or Reddit, but can also be used on literally any other website, Amazon, Google, and so on. Now, how to use Golagin? Let's create a new profile. Click plus right here. Let's name the new profile. Most people actually name the profiles after social media websites and, if they run someone's account, name of the client or your name. And the next thing you need to know is the location. Location is basically your IP address of the device, also known as proxy. Let's click right here to add your proxy. Let's go with United States. And GoLogin gives you a new IP address for each of your browser profiles. See that the light near the location is green, which means we're good to go. And let's click Run to run the profile. Running the profile gives you a Chrome window. From this point on, you can browse just like in your Chrome browser. Let's head over to a needed website. And from here, you just log in your account. When you've done work with the accounts, you can close this window like this. And the session will simply upload to GoLogin Cloud. Now, if you run the account again, for example, tomorrow, or if your colleague runs it from another device, let's click Run again. The session will simply continue from the same spot you left, which is very convenient. Now, why do you need proxies inside an Antitech browser? It's simple. Websites are able to identify your device behind your internet connection. If you use proxies or a VPN outside of login, the website will still identify your device and block you. So you need a special browser like GoLogin to give you both a new device, like these browser profiles, and a proxy IP address, like you see right here. GoLogin provides a real device for each of your accounts and proxies to give each of your devices a new IP address. GoLogin includes high-quality proxies built inside the app. If you go and click Buy Proxy right here, you can see how much traffic you have left, and if you need it, buy some more by clicking Top Up. All paid plans include 2 gigabytes of proxy traffic renewed every month. You can notice that mobile proxies are offered right here as well. These are used if you need a mobile connection. Now, Golagin also allows to use third-party provider proxies. If you want to use these, copy third-party provider proxies from their dashboard and then click Paste Proxies right here. Pasted proxies will appear on this list. You can choose them from here and you're good to go. Moving on to the interface. First of all, you can perform more sections with the profiles. If you go and select several profiles right here on the left, you can see that more sections menu shows up. By the way, profiles can be launched simultaneously. This will not cause any issues. These three dots right here are the profile menu. For example, you can pin your profile right here so it stays on top. And this settings button opens quick profile settings. Don't worry, settings don't need to be adjusted. Most of them are automatic and it's meant mostly for advanced use. Now, the main profile table gives a lot of space to be customized. If you click this gear icon right here and then go to columns, you can turn on only the columns you want to see. For example, last launch and notes. You can leave a note to yourself. Also, you can set a custom status. Columns can be dragged and dropped for convenience or for custom order. And profiles can be dragged and dropped as well. The last thing I want to show is teamwork and folders. To add a team member to your workspace, click menu right here and then invite members. On this screen, enter the email of the person you want to invite and then you can give access to either selected folders or your whole workspace. Here the rules are different. You can only select can run, which is recommended for hired employees, edit in the profiles and then complete access. You can also give access to selected folders right here. For example, there's a separate folder for this person and you can assign custom rights right here. When you click send invite, the person will receive an email with an invitation to your team. Now to add custom folders, click menu, folders right here, and then you can add folder for your every manager. 
add profiles to this folder and the person will see only the profiles you shared with him. And then you can invite member directly to this folder. And that's basically everything you need to know about GoLogin to start your business. If you have additional questions or comments, simply comment down below the video.